Greetings and salutations. It is Monday, September 7th. It's Labor Day, for those of you that celebrate that. And I promised you a raid, so we're gonna raid. This is a Bastion of Twilight. As far as I know, it's very easily syllable. I'm just dragging along the husband, because why not? But this is just gonna be a walkthrough, an explanation of how to get to where you need to go, any kind of tips and tricks if the bosses are difficult. But all you're gonna wanna do is get to Twilight Highlands Horde. You're gonna end up uh, in Dragon Maw Port, Alliance, you're gonna end up in High Bank, and just fly to the Bastion of Twilight, and then you're gonna go up, up, up to the top of the tower. I'm actually gonna make sure I'm out. So you can see we're quite high on the big purple thing. And we're gonna head in here, and we're gonna do this on Heroic, and it'll be a good time. Right? He gave a thumbs up, YouTube, I don't know if you saw. All right. Oh boy. They have more health than I do. That's not That's hard to really do, though. That's really not a problem. Yeah. All right, hold on. Do that, do that. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Sebastian is really straightforward, very linear. You don't have to do a lot of back and forth running around or anything. I'm going to be doing very little looting. Just money. Actually, money and cloth, I think because my inventory is ridiculously over full right now. Because it's Kata, there's no rep. Alright, so go this way and then we'll head right. Again, super obvious, not any back and forth that we want to do at all. stuff, you know, don't stand in it. Stuff. Malevolence? Three of them drop. Oh, it is cool looking. Okay, I'm gonna roll on one of them.
round two. boss is the only real tricky one.
creepy guy? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's call the creepy guy. So, he does this thing that puts corrupted blur on you. I don't entirely know what it does. All I know is that when you get to blade level 100, it really doesn't matter. I'm worshiping him. As a bad guy. Yeah, I'm worshiping him for another second. Twilight's hammer. Do you can you use maces? I can't remember. He can have it. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. There's like a small guide. We have to like s do something with the eggs. I've only done this once. There's a guy and there's eggs and we have to do something. Mm -hmm. That's all. We know. Hey, Sinestra. Like right. It's like a phase. And you get her health down. You have to. Yeah. You have a mana barrier. Phase two. Up. Okay. And then you gotta destroy that. Mm -hmm. but there's something else it has to do with the eggs. I just can't remember what it is. Yeah, her mana is going up too quickly. There's something we have to do. There's all these little welts. Okay, that's what it is. She's doing... There, that egg has to be destroyed. Oh, I can't do that right now. It's increased to all damage. Um, maybe it has to do with the... There's a, an oh. opening when you can damage it. I just don't remember when. Her mana's going down again, though. Oh, 
Sebastian Twilight. Mm -hmm. Can we loot this? Yes, we can. Excellent. Nothing for me. Excellent. All right. And that's Bastion of Twilight, so that took a whopping 16 minutes. So, there you go. Really straightforward, very definitely soloable. You have enough time to run between the two eggs if you have any type of speed boost at all, which every class does. So, that is it for today. I hope you found that helpful. No idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. Maybe we'll do more raids. I know I can solo a few more. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.